Welcome to Kern 9000's Horror House. Well, although some people might not realise it, this film, the 1978 Invasion of the Body Snatchers, is a remake. To be precise, it's the first remake of the classic film of the same name from 1956. So what's different? Well, the most obvious thing is that this one is in colour. Beyond that, the setting for the invasion has been moved from a small town to the city of San Francisco. Okay, so on to the plot. Matthew Bennell, who is played by Donald Sutherland, notices that several of his friends are complaining that their close relatives are in some way different. Leonard Nimoy plays his friend who is a therapist who seems to think that this is some kind of wave of paranoid delusions. Despite seeming terrified one day that their loved ones are no longer their loved ones, when questioned a few days later, the same individuals seem to be changed themselves, as they deny everything or they simply try to excuse their behaviour that they were wrong or they'd overreacted. It soon becomes apparent that this is an invasion. As the invaders increase in number they become more open and Bernal, who has by now witnessed an attempted replacement, realises that he and his friends must escape or suffer the same fate. But who can he help and who can trust him and who has already been snatched? This film's quite a slow burn, it starts off with a lot of atmospheric setting shall we say. and. It's a bit of a mystery film at the start, which branches into an almost zombie-esque film at the end. I think it's a pretty decent film. It's a good watch, as long as you can take the slow pace. Donald Sutherland is great in it. Uh, Leonard Nimoy is good. The legendary Jeff Goldblum is also in it, who... He's his usual sort of skittish, over-the-top scientist type character. And, you know, he's enjoyable in this. I mean, the man's enjoyable in everything. Now, there is something interesting connected to this film. Apparently, the night after the movie's release, someone put replicas of the pods, which look like those seen in the movie, all over the streets of Los Angeles. And this led to some people getting so freaked out that they thought they were real and that an invasion was going to happen, and they called the police. I love stories like this. It's just brilliant to hear when people are tricked and get scared. I don't know why. I love the whole, you know, War of the Worlds, people thought the world was actually getting invaded sort of thing. It's just cool. All in all, I think it's a very watchable film, if a bit of a slow burn. And I'd much rather watch this over the most recent remake of this film, which is called The Invasion, starring the ever-boring Daniel Craig. The reason why I think this Body Snatcher film works, and the other Body Snatcher films to some degree, is that there's a natural fear of losing your own identity. And there's also a natural fear that somebody you know might not be exactly who you think they are. I mean, for example, it's like when you watch these crime shows and you find out that somebody was a serial killer and their wife never knew and that. There's always that fear that inbuilt fear that you might not know your friend or neighbour or partner as well as you think you do. And it's an inbuilt human fear, and I think that horror movies work best when you play on something that has just a tinge of reality to it. I think that's why this works so well. Okay, this is uh, Kerr9000 signing off. Keep on watching these horror films, boys and ghouls.